If you are in Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, and Tanzania, get a seat for we need to talk. So to begin with, this video was requested by a goal getter asking me to make a video on biogas in East Africa. So this is exactly what we are going to be doing in this video. So if this is something that catches your interest, do well to get a seat, paper and pen and take notes, right? Now the thing is, biogas is actually an exciting opportunity that has been popping up. We are talking about a sector that's primed for explosive growth. So what is actually biogas all about? I am going to be letting you know everything you need to know about the biogas industry. But before we do that, do well to like this video already and endeavor to go to our playlist if you're new to the channel and try to catch up with all the videos we've made on the channel already. And we can proceed with this video without announcing to those who don't know yet that Africa Today is actually launching a joint venture with those who are enthusiastic about production in Africa. We are going to be launching a partnership wherein we are going to be producing an African diaper that is made in Africa from scratch. So if this is something that catches your interest, do well to rush to our membership for all the details are on there. We will also be dropping the link in the comment section so that you can just click and get there, get all the information you need to know. And if you're interested, you are welcome to be a part. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So biogas is simply a renewable energy source created from waste. So this is something that anyone can actually do, all right? You just need to be in an environment where there's waste, be it perhaps cow dung, crop residues, wood, sawdust, cardboards, you name it, you are good to go. Why is the biogas such a big deal in East Africa? Let me paint you a picture. So imagine you are in Kenya, right? Electricity is scarce and people are still cooking over open fire, inhaling toxic smoke. Now, with all the information we've got at hand, there is no reason going through all of that hustle because biogas is a clean, sustainable alternative that's basically below their feet. So the thing is, it's not just about energy, right? It's actually about improving people's lives, that is, people's health as a whole. Now, let's talk numbers. The biogas industry in East Africa is set to grow at a staggering rate of 15% annually in the next five years, which is enormous. That's not just growth goal getters, that's actually a gold rush waiting to happen, all right? So if you are in East Africa, I would advise you take the biogas industry seriously. So I know you might be wondering that, all right, which markets are the most suitable for this industry? So I am going to be walking you through, all right? Don't you worry, you know, I've always got you covered. So the hottest markets are going to be Kenya, Rwanda, Uganda, and Tanzania. And I am going to be telling you why. So let's start with Kenya. In Kenya, they are leading the charge with over 25,000 biogas plants installed already. The government pushes hard for renewable energy and there's a huge untapped market both in rural and urban areas. So if you're in Kenya, you know what to do. Now let's talk about Uganda. Uganda is a country with massive agricultural output. You see all those banana peels and coffee husk, that's biogas gold. And also they've got a strong government support for green energy initiatives. Now if we go to Tanzania with a population of over 60 million people, which is growing fast, the energy demand there is skyrocketing. They've got the raw material, they've got the demand, and a government that's waking up to the potential of biogas. So if you are in Tanzania, this is something you shouldn't joke with, all right? Now, last but not the least, let's talk about Rwanda. Don't let the size of this country fool you, all right? This small country is making big moves in sustainability. They've actually set ambitious targets for biogas adoption, and they are backing it up with incentives for businesses. Now, you might be thinking, Erwin, this really sounds great, but how do I make money in this industry? I'm glad you asked. Let me then break down some practical business models for you. So number one, we've got the biogas plant construction. This is a straightforward one, all right? There's a huge demand for both small-scale domestic plants and large industrial ones. There's this guy who started with just two employees building small home units, right? And just three years later, he's got a team of over 30 employees and is expanding in the whole of Uganda. So this is something that you might emulate if you 
are a smart goal getter. Now, number two, let's talk about appliance manufacturing. Here we are referring to things like biogas stoves, biogas lamps, and even small generators, that is power generators, right? The market for this is actually exploding. I know of this entrepreneur who started importing from China and made a lot of sales. But now he started manufacturing them locally, cutting a lot of cost and making a lot of profit at the same time. So if you are in Uganda, this is something you might consider trying, all right? Or even in Tanzania, Kenya, any of these countries, it's going to do well for you. Number three, let's talk about waste collection and processing. This is something I've talked about a couple of times on this channel already. So those who are the MVPs on here, you already know what we are talking about, right? Now, remember, biogas needs fit stock, okay? So setting up a network to collect and process organic waste isn't just good business. It's actually solving a major environmental problem that we are facing in most African countries. And you know what I'm talking about. About. And please, Golgata, don't look at this as a dirty business because that's the blockage a lot of Africans always have when it comes to waste collection and processing. It isn't a dirty business. And even if you consider it dirty and you don't want to do it yourself, you can employ people to do that for you, all right? In one of my videos, I give you an example of a lady doing it in my vicinity and making a lot of money. She makes not less than $4,500 per month, which is something non negligible in most African countries. So that said, let's go to the four points which has to do with consultancy and training. Now, the thing is, with the industry growing fast, there's a huge gap for knowledge. So if you've got the know-how, selling your knowledge could be incredibly lucrative for you. So if you know anything in this domain or you are versed with any part of the biogas industry, please start making workshops, all right, training centers or whatever, and sell your knowledge. Remember on the channel, I always encourage you all to monetize your time sell your knowledge and monetize your time all right so charge people for your knowledge and charge them for the time you are using to impact that knowledge in them so you are gaining in two ways all right so before you charge someone combine the two and charge always feel free to charge it is your full right to charge all right it's high time we get used to charging people for our time and our knowledge so number five we are going to be talking about carbon credit training so this is actually the icing of the cake many carbon projects qualify for carbon credits which is something you can sell on the international market so it's just like getting paid twice for doing good once if that makes sense so now i know you might be thinking that this sounds too good to be true right don't you worry you are right to be skeptical. There are, just like in any other industry or business, there are challenges, okay? Initial investment costs, lack of awareness, and even sometimes tricky regulations are all things that can actually be very challenging and tedious. Here's the thing. There aren't roadblocks, all right? They are actually opportunities. Remember on the channel, I always tell you that as a goal getter, whatever there is a problem or an obstacle, while others are looking at it as a problem, you should be looking at it as a business opportunity. I know that maybe challenges like maybe high cost of maybe installation or starting up the business as a whole, I know that could be challenging, right? But look at it this way. There are actually innovative financing models popping up everywhere all over the place, all right? So you just need to be in the right place at the right time to maybe get someone that could invest in your business or maybe someone that could partner with you in that business. Because the thing is, we Africans, most times we want to do everything ourselves. We don't want to partner with people. We want to maybe take the glory alone. And I don't know why, if that is even glory, I don't think so, but that's how Africans see it. We should learn to cultivate the spirit of partnership because for us to go to where we want to be, we need to partner with others. It is commonly said in Africa that united we stand, divided we fall. So if you are not capable of doing something that you want to do, look out for that one or those two people that are ready to partner with you and make that dream a reality. So the bottom line is the biogas industry in East Africa is not just a business like any other, all right? It's actually an opportunity for you to be part of the revolution. A revolution in sustainability and finally a revolution in quality of life. So what are you waiting for, Gold Getters? The time to get into the biogas industry is now. So whether you're an entrepreneur looking out for your next big thing or you are just a beginner 
from scratch, this is a business opportunity that you can tap from. And like I said, the time to do so is now. Remember on the channel, I always tell you that there's no better time to start something than now, all right? Procrastination is the worst thing that could ever happen to a goal getter. So take the bold step right now and start. Don't you look at the end road, all right? Always just start. Start from where you can start. So, biogas industry in East Africa is exactly where it is at. Remember in business, timing is everything. And right now, the biogas clock is ticking. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. That said, Golgetta, if you love this video, do well to like it and share it with all your loved ones, alright? And we can't end this video without thanking our lovely Golgetters who've joined the Golgetta community and are supporting the channel grow. We really do appreciate you all. So if you're interested in being part of the Golgetta community, please click the link in the comment section or check on our about page and join us there for we've got a lot of interesting things going on there. I was glad to help I'll see you on my next one.